Hello viewer, welcome to Thumb IKEA channel, myself Imris Kanratin. This is my 37th programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a store procedure and how we can use that procedure in MVC project. I will show you a simple create operation using store procedure. You can find complete MVC create project in previous video. Link will be given in description part. So first I'm gonna create my database. University. Okay. And I'm creating a table. ID which will be a primary key type is integer name role set primary key uh, auto increment yes and the table name is student okay now i'm gonna create a store procedure programmability store procedure right click new store procedure okay remove all this part My store, my store procedure name is SP student and parameter is name and the type is her role as Okay, as we can run it, run again, and student name role values. name is a key so I'm using third bracket let's execute okay my store procedure is created now make it alter okay done now I am gonna create an MVC project. Project is without web application. MVC store procedure. Okay. MVC. So okay, <clears throat> first I'm gonna set my project connection string. Okay, view server explorer, click this one. Select Microsoft SQL Server, continue, dot, university, this is my database name, okay, so connected, right click, property, this is my connection string, so select all, 
copy go to wave.config this is my connection string part and I will replace this one with my connection string and my connection string name will be universe city connection string okay done now I'm gonna create a student class add class student let's take some properties these are id set name role string string okay let's create our data access layer class so i'm taking a folder create a class student data access layer private skill connection Private SQL command declare a constructor connection SQL connection configuration manager dot connection string and go to web config university connection string copy paste okay. connection string okay. now I am declaring a safe function but public void save student student skill connection open skill connection close skill Command new command and I'm going to write my store procedure name which is SP student student connection common type common try dot store procedure parameter dot add with value my parameter name at the rate of name student dot name 
same as I'm gonna take parameter role. Okay. Now SQL command dot execute non query. Now, now I'm gonna call this method from student object class public void save student 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 data access layer save student okay done let's create a student controller at us student controller controller okay public action result view students list student students new return view student http post by whom i can save my student public JSON result save student student dot save JavaScript serializer string json dot serialize student return json json dot request hello Okay, done. Let's create this view, view with students. So go to view part, create a folder named student, student, at new item, CSS, HTML. I'm gonna copy this part. This is my name text, role text, and it is button, save button. And and this is my JavaScript part. This is my HTML and JavaScript part. I take two input field, name and role, and a save button. And this is my JavaScript part. This is as a Ajax. 
by clicking on save button it will hit in this part http post so let's try Okay, name embrace roll 001, save, accept. Okay, let's open our database, the table, student table. Okay, so success. Let's insert another student name Ratin role triple two save okay saved okay done hope you understand thanks for watching the, this video and if you think this video is helpful then please like comment and share and obviously subscribe my channel for new tutorials Thank you for watching.